welcome back to the channel so on today's tutorial i'll be showing you how i made this high low bubble gown please like subscribe and share this tutorial so on the comment section please leave a comment on your thoughts on this tutorial so for this bubble gown you're gonna need about two yards of crepe fabric so i'm gonna take my fabric here and then i will just fold it into half like this so i'm still gonna start off by cutting out the back part so the length of my bubble gown it's gonna be 41 inches so i'm gonna cut out the back and then i'll use the back to cut out the front so i'm gonna put my tape measure here and then i will me measure my neck opening so i'm just gonna go in by three inches and then make a point and then after making the three inches point i'm just gonna come here and then i'll just go down by one inch so this is the neck opening the back opening so i'm gonna join the points together to create a curve like this so here i'll put my tape measure here and then i will mark about 14 inches and the 14 inches mark i'm marking there it's for the sleeve length so if you want yours longer you can just also mark about 20 to 22 inches 14 inches mark i made i'm gonna go down by 8 inches and then i'll just make a straight line like this so from there i'll be creating a shoulder slope so this part was not showing but then i just went down by one inch to create the shoulder slope and then i will join the points to the neckline like so so i'll come here and measure and i will just go in by one inch and then make a point and then from there i'll just measure from here and then i'll just make a straight line so the from the one inch mark i made point there i'm just gonna go straight down to the bottom part of the dress so i was just making sure that i have the right um straight line here so from there i will come here and then just create a little bit of a curve to eliminate the corner thing so that's it i'm done with drafting the back so i'm just gonna be cutting out So that's it this is the back part so i'm just gonna take another fabric and then i'll also cut it on fold so i'm just gonna fold another fabric here like this and then i will take my back piece and then just place it on top of the fabric here so i'm doing this to cut out the front the only difference on the front piece and the back piece is just here on the neckline the front piece has a v-shape neck and then also on the front part there's also a curve here on the bottom part of the front piece so now what i will do is i will take my scissor and then i will just trace out the back piece like so So, well, now I will come here on the neckline and then I'll just mark the three inches that I have on the back piece. And then from there, yeah, this is three inches. And then from there, I'll just take my tape measure and then I'll just put my tape measure there and then just mark down by 
go down by 8 inches and then from there I will just join the two points together and then I will cut out so that's it I'm gonna work on the front bottom part right here now so this step that I'm about to do I'm only doing it on the front part of the bubu gown so I'm gonna put my tape measure here on the shoulder line and then I will just come here I will make a mark on a mark of 38 inches and then I'll just make a curve like this this is only on the front so once I'm done making that curve I'm just gonna be cutting out like so so this is what you will have once you're done so now I'm gonna be taking my bias tape and then I'm just gonna be turning in the neckline using the bias tape I'll also do it on the back piece of the bubu gown so this is it I'm done so for a perfect v-neck what I do is I just fold my neck line like this so you see here I have a little bit of more like a dart nyana. so from here I just made a small stitch after folding this in half I made a small stitch so I can just keep up the v-neck shape I want and then here on the back I just normally inserted the bias tape so this is it so once I'm done with this I'm just gonna be joining the shoulder lines together here on and then after joining the shoulder line together this is what I have so so far the next thing for me to do is um, I'm just gonna fold in the arm so I'm just gonna hem the arm here so I'm just gonna be doing this for both arms so I'm just gonna fold in here and then just make a stitch so I'm just gonna hem the arm hole and then make a stitch and I also do the same on this other side and then once I'm done with that this is what I have the next thing for me to do now is I'm just gonna join the sides together so for this bubble gown, I'm just going to be using the French method to join the side together. So basically just make a stitch on the sides to join the boob. So I'm going to make a straight stitch from the arm to the bottom part of this bubble. And then when I do that, I'm also going to hem the bottom part of the bubu gown. And now that's it for today's tutorial. So you can see I've hemmed the bottom part of uh, this dress. So I just want to show you something. So you can see the front is kept and then the, the back is straight. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. Also leave a comment on what you think about this tutorial thank you so much for watching